has officially been lifted. Travelers must have proof of a negative COVID-19 test taken within 18 hours of their departure. And they must also upload vaccination details to the Arrive Can app or website. And those who come to Canada from India by an indirect route will still be required to have that negative test from a third country within 72 hours of departure. AJ Bazaria is the High Commissioner of India to Canada and joins us now from Ottawa. Thank you, sir, for your time. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Is this a relief uh, to you to hear the news that, that, that direct flights can now come back to Canada? Absolutely. It's a welcome step. It's a welcome step towards normalizing the air mobility between India and Canada, and it's going to help a lot of folks in both countries who have been uh, inconvenienced for a long time uh, during this flight ban. Is there any indication of how many people were inconvenienced, maybe how many people were waiting uh, on the other end for a direct flight back to Canada? Well, in the thousands, because uh, there have been direct daily flights from uh, Toronto and Vancouver, between Toronto, Vancouver and Delhi, all this while from last year since we agreed on an air bubble between the two countries. And a lot of people have been dismayed and disappointed who weren't able to travel or had to travel through very circuitous uh, third country routes. So they are going to be uh, very relieved. And uh, just for instance, there were 35,000 uh, Indian students who had to join the semester by uh, September in uh, Canada, and they were very keen to come in. So uh, it's going to bring a lot of relief to a lot of folks who are waiting to get in. I also want to ask you about the test that they need that has to be one done in a specific New Delhi lab. Tell me why that is happening and, and why people have to have it within 18 hours of departure, where in other places it's, it has to be 72 hours. Well, these are mitigation measures that have been put in place uh, by the Canadian health authorities, and we respect that. We have been in continuous conversation with uh, Global Affairs Canada, with Transport Canada, and we've been going back and forth on the exact nature of mitigation measures. As I said, this is a welcome first step, and we hope the few next steps are taken towards normalizing air mobility between the countries, and that would mean having more uh, test laboratories, uh, expanding them in Delhi and expanding them across India so that uh, it becomes more convenient. And I believe the early results of uh, these mitigation measures have been very positive. Uh, we haven't had any uh, positive case coming into Canada in the uh, pilot study in the first three or four flights. So that's good news, and I hope uh, we gradually resume a very normal posture as we go forward. Hi, Commissioner. Can you just give me an idea of how India's battle with this virus is going? We know at one point several months ago, part of the reason they, that we were not accepting those direct flights is because the numbers were skyrocketing. How's that fight now? Well, fortunately, we are in a very uh, hopeful uh, place. Uh, we aren't completely out of the woods, but we are in a, a very positive space. Uh, we had a brutal second wave, as you mentioned, uh, a few months ago. But now we are in a very confident position of uh, uh, seeing the end of that second wave. And uh, we have, for instance, from Delhi, uh, just about 20 or 30 cases uh, daily that we are detecting and Delhi is where the flights are going to be uh, going uh, to both Toronto and Vancouver. More than that, India is well on its way to vaccinating its entire population by the end of the year and reaching that critical mass. Uh, we have already uh, administered vaccines to more than 600 million people who got the first dose. Uh, 200 million have the second dose. So we are fairly confident that we are going to go ahead and beat uh, the pandemic. And that's why we're very keen to resume uh, normal mobility with the rest of the world. Yeah, we are all ready to get back to normal if we can. Uh, Hi, Commissioner, appreciate your time tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Straight ahead, R&B.